Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to HGV Talks, my little podcast I do not every week, although I try to do it every week, I don't ever do it that consistently, um, but we're getting to the end of the year here, and I wanted to kind of make sure I did a couple of these, one, because it's the end of the year, and I was starting this at the beginning of, well actually I started it towards the end of last year, if I remember correctly, uh, let me actually check that, I'm kind of curious. HGV Talks. When was my first episode? Um, how am I looking up HGV Talks and my videos are not coming up at all? Okay, that's strange. Let me look on my own channel. Apparently, that's how I have to do it. Um, What the heck? This is search across your channel. HGV Talks. Show all. Gosh. All right. Let me go back. First one was November 15th, 2021. All right. So I started it towards the end of last year. And I remember talking about my end of the year goals. I actually kind of want to rewatch it. I'll be completely honest with you. Um, I got a Merry Christmas one. And then I have a January third one. I'm actually going to check out the January third one. Uh, this is going to be a little different if you guys are watching the video version. I'm going to keep this muted. They didn't really give me good information. I don't think that's the right one. Was it Merry Christmas? I really don't remember. Uh, but yeah, I had a good time. Went to my grandmother's. Uh, my walk, but the big kind of that didn't go on YouTube grounds. So. Oh. 580. Oh, this is it. This is it. This is it. Weekly gaming day that we usually do. So once I get back into. Let me down. Hold on. Aha. And talk for this podcast, but I immediately started doing that. So I All right. I'm, I'm probably going to cut out some of that so we can get to this part, but let's hear this. Partner on Facebook is something I think I want to do. I said partner on Facebook, which is a lie. I don't think I actually wanted to be partnered on Facebook. I don't know why I even said that. I honestly can't believe it. I said partner on Facebook. I've never actually wanted to be partner on Facebook. I think it was sort of like a... Facebook was probably going good at the time. And I kind of was like, ah, you know what, maybe it wouldn't be so bad to be a partner. But 355 YouTube subs. All right. What are we currently at? I think we're at 1,400. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Uh... Wow, I just did that at the same exact time. That's kind of crazy. 1,400. On the money. Wait, what I say? What I say? What I say? Channel got 108,000 views. Wow, that's actually a lot longer than I thought. 108,000 views all time. We are now at 745,000 this year. I'm at 140. Crazy. Followers, but that number is kind of not great. So I'm not really too worried about it. Uh, yeah, that's not really a big deal. I'm still around like 35 supporters, surprisingly, even though I don't share them there. 15 CCV current viewers, some shit. Was that 15 uh, last year? At the end of the year? Really? Oh, we're doing better than that. Hmm? How many? Current viewers, some shit. How many? Um, 580 engaged. Wow. I'm actually at like 1,200 right now. I, I, those analytics. I'm actually at like 1,200 right now, and I don't even stream them. So I'll keep that. Damn. Am I, I'll show you. I'll show you guys these things. I don't really care. You guys want to look? I'm at, yeah, almost 1,200 engaged followers. followers which it, if Crazy. I last podcast, I would have been at 80, maybe 100. <laughs> uh, yeah, TikTok, I'm almost at 2K, which likes. I don't really know what other it's just I had a video currently Correct. popping off at the time of this video. I guess I could do Twitter. I didn't really care for Twitter. Twitter like yeah. Before. Twitter, I mean, TikTok now, I'm at 1984 followers, 125,000 likes. I got like 112,000 likes on one video, so it's kind of like one video popped off. Instagram, I think I like 600 or something on there. Instagram, another one I don't really care about, but let's check it anyway. Oh, what did I say about Twitter? Let me check Twitter. 580 followers. I'm just doing this for the hell of it. 580? I'm at 612. I legit don't care. I kind of gave up on Twitter. And I got 786 on Instagram. Again, those two platforms don't really care about. They kind of just like for my fun. Kind of just for me. That's pretty much it. 
So I think my goals. Let's see. Is. What did I say? YouTube partner. I know that. For YouTube would be 1K sub. Uh, 1K sub. Because that's like the big. You guys did that for me. You did it for me. Is 1K sub. Mm -hmm. Because if you hit 1K, then you have to have a certain amount of a certain amount of watch hours, and that will get you monetization unlocked. So it's a big kind of stepping stone on YouTube grounds. So put the second right subs on YouTube, which I think is very doable. It was doable. We did it, baby. I'm not really worried about. I want to be at 150K followers. That didn't happen. We're at 143,000. Yeah, it kind of. Like yeah, yeah, I, I kind of explained here. I'll kind of let myself talk. You know. Oh, never mind. I pretty much continue to say that my page was pretty much like a, it was a meme page when I first started doing it and I had a ridiculous amount of followers and it's just been dropping ever since. So I kind of wish I started a brand new page when I started streaming over there. I probably had a lot more success on Facebook. The number, the follower number looks good, but it kind of sucks. Honestly, it doesn't really help. At one point, which was before, I think it's new content. Let's see how many people branded it as like, let me see. Uh, to this day, I still, there's still so many people that follow me. But I want to take the 145k that I'm at, knowing I'm still gonna be losing a lot. I want to try to gain some positive traction. Which I can show you guys here. Insights, audience. Um, oh, I can't change the time frame here. Let me see. Overview. I will go to January 1st to today which is december 17th and we gained 1.4 thousand followers this year 1.4 thousand followers that is what we gained so that's impressive that's a that's a improvement for me that's gonna be my goal for so i'm assuming they did a change the hardest thing I'm trying to do. uh i think when i recorded this originally there was likes and follows and i believe they got rid of that at some point this year and i don't know how that affected my total follower account because i'm saying i'm at 145 I gained 1.4k, but now I'm at 143. So I'm assuming pages got deleted or like likes, follows. I don't know exactly how that worked, but I ended up at 143. We gained almost 1,500 followers this year on Facebook, which is awesome. Because I'm still losing so many still people, so even though I've been doing this for years on the page, people. Uh, I'm not gonna do goals for the amount of supporters or CTV or even engaged followers. Nice. Um, that's just gonna be what it is. Yeah. Smart man. Uh, Smart man. Honestly, it's just something I want to really want to make goals for. YouTube 1k sub, Facebook 150k followers. Yeah, the 50k, 150k followers obviously didn't happen. I'm look at, I'm stroking my beard at the same time. I just gained 600 followers in a week. Like, it's not. Yeah, TikTok. I still don't really care for TikTok. I do it just because. You know, sometimes something pops off and it helps. I'll just reflect on it. Goal oriented. 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 What's the? This word is so wrong. Why do you guys listen to me? I don't need goals to like have passion or grind for something. It's still true. It's still true. I think I kind of like those two. YouTube, 1K. Still true. Those ones I feel like I can organization. Anything else? I'll try to talk about organization again. Of course, that's what I always try to do. All right. That was a cool little review. That was fun to look at. Um, I think a lot of good insights to just kind of where I was at at the time and where I am now. Uh, obviously, YouTube, we hit it. We're at the monetization now. We're at the 1.4k subs. Uh, the last, literally the last couple days. Um, in the uh, We're doing a Pokemon Black 2 Iron Mon Nuzlocke. And it's been going really well on Facebook and YouTube. And over the past like five videos or so, I was like, maybe it might be more than that. Maybe five or six videos, something like that. I was like, hey, if we hit 50 likes on a video. Because I looked, I was like, you know, we get like, you know, let me see. I'll go back. Let me go back to the beginning of the series. All right, uh, 23 likes, 21, 21, 35, 17, 35, 45. I think that was probably the first one where I said if we get the 50 likes. We got 45 likes. This is obviously like, you know, uh, 10 days after it was posted. Then 30 likes, 36, 35, 37, and then 34, 30, uh, 42. And then we eventually hit 57, uh, I mean, 80. We had like 70 likes on a video. And I was like, I'm doing an hour episode. We did the hour episode. That just happened. But because the increased amount of likes on the videos, I've been getting new people catching the videos and watching them. So, like, 
I really underestimated the power of likes on a video. So like when you guys watch these videos, if you guys are watching this podcast and you leave a like on it, it's such a, it does nothing. You just click a button and that gives YouTube information that says you like this guy, you like this content. If enough people like this content, we're going to try giving it to some new people who will suggest it to new people. So when you guys actually drop those likes in, it's, I mean, it's not drastic. I mean, I'm breaking 200 views on these videos in 24 hours, which I usually, you know, I maybe break a hundred, sometimes 120 on a good day. Uh, maybe one random video does a little better here and there, but we're the last four videos are all over 200 views already, which has only been since the 13th and it's the 17th. So, uh, it's been impressive as hell. Um, the last two days of YouTube are the two highest earning days I've had. I mean, it's $4 and like $4 and 50 cents. It's not like I'm making a lot of money, but it's going up. It's going up. And I like, I look through my analytics and, you know, I look over the past 48 hours. I see almost the entire series of, you know, black Two iron Mon has like nine, 10 people that have been watching from the beginning. You can see like the way that, time frames work on it you can see that there's like a group of people that are watching it in a series by like based on the time frames when i started watching it because you know i'm not big enough to be like flooded with information so uh it's cool seeing i see people watching some old series of like crystal crystal was one of my first i think it's the first playthrough i ever did start to finish on youtube i think i started a couple and i don't think i ever finished it i think it always something came up and i always just never end up finishing the series because i was like hey it's getting like two views a video i didn't care uh, i think crystal is the first one i finished and it was a classic vanilla rest in peace uh classic series and it's cool seeing people going back and watch these old things it's like i was kind of thinking of like an analogy of how to describe this to like my wife and i was because she's an artist she paints she does incredible work i have a I posted a ton of it in the videos. I have it all over the room over here in front of me. And it's like she, imagine you're a painter or an artist and you create these things for years. I mean, I've been doing content creating for coming up on six, no, five years. I think I hit, just hit five years. And to see people finding me last week and now watching stuff I did two years ago or a year ago or three years ago, you know, it's just like kind of like, you know, you've been creating and doing this for so long and now people are discovering you and going back and seeing all the things you've done, even if it wasn't nearly as good back in the day as it is now. But you know, it was just really cool to see. It's just exciting. <sighs> 1,400 subscribers on YouTube. It's awesome, man. It's awesome. Um, another thing I was thinking, I actually did like little notes here. The end of the goal review I did, YouTube growth I want to talk about. Improving my content overall is something that I feel like I feel like this room, I feel like we did a good job with this room. And like, I feel like the quality of the camera looks pretty good. I think the quality of my games and stuff, I didn't do a lot of improving with it. And I don't think I really, I don't think I really was able to push myself and like do as many new ideas. And I really, to be honest, I think my stream content has not been as good this year as it was last year. I think last year was even better. Hi kitty. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like last year we were, the purgatories and like the sabotages were all new and you know we were coming up with these different ideas of trying different things i started the iron on those locks and it was just it was a lot of fun doing i had all these new ideas and i feel like this whole year i mean i had a lot going on personally but i feel like i kind of just stuck to the same kind of things you know, i did purgatories did some radical red which did extremely well and honestly helped the page a ton and you know that was fun and i still want to do some of that uh but i felt like like, as I was reflecting on the year, I feel like I didn't really push myself creatively as much as I would have liked. And that's something I'm kind of looking for. That's going to be one of my biggest goals for the next year is to, you know, really come up with a new creative thing for play, play styles that I could do. That'll be really fun. Because I, I really love just going through poke. I can play randomized Pokemon all day, man. I really can. These randomized Iron Mons I do, like, I could legit play them all day long. So I just want to kind of push myself to do something, something new, you know, it's crazy to think about that. I have like 700, 7,000 views in the past, however many days in the past 90 days, I got 455,000 views on my page. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Ever since I started bowling, posting bowling content, my page just kind of gone crazy. But oh, aside from that. 
other things I want to do this year. Uh, a big thing I want to do is my merch. I really want to up like upgrade my merch. Uh, my buddy Nick has a clothing line he does, nbma1787.com. Check it out. It's beautiful stuff. It comes out really well. He designs it all. And, you know, I've bought some, I bought a hoodie from him. It's an orange hoodie. It says NB on it. I think I was wearing it in the last podcast, actually. It's uh, NB. It's in, like, white and green embroidered on it. And it's, like, dude, it's my favorite hoodie. It's such a nice hoodie. And I, I've been talking to him because he actually did this hat. <sighs> hat right here where we've got the logo embroidered on it and you know my logo is a tough thing to embroider because it's so intricate but i kind of want to talk to him and oh is that the hoodie right there actually no that's my other one that's my just nike orange hoodie um but i kind of want to step up the merch and i want to work with him on it um because i just i really like the quality of how he does it and it looks really good i'm not i don't i don't do merch for money i mean i make pretty much nothing on merch well, if you guys buy merch for me i literally have it set so i i actually just realized one of my merch items loses me money every time someone orders it i lose a dollar because i have the price set too low so the commission cut i don't i make negative one dollars every time someone orders it so i have to actually update that because that's kind of a dangerous practice to have but i literally set my prices and when i do merch to the point where i make like a dollar maybe like if that i just need it to have like a little window so that you know, negative commissions don't happen. Um, I literally only do merch so that people can represent more than anything. I just want people to be able to wear something that represents their, you know, streamer they enjoy, you know? So that's kind of my vibe for it. So I think I really want to up the merch this year and do higher quality stuff. It may be a little more expensive, but I will fight to try to get the cost to a point where, you know, it's not super crazy, but it's worth it. Because the hoodies, like the hoodie I got from him, and the hat right there. The quality of it is really, really nice. And, you know, I, I want to focus on that more than anything. And maybe do some more creative things with the merch, you know. Uh, that's why I'll talk to my friend Nick. He's the he's the more artistic one or creative one when it comes to design. I have no design skill at all. So, uh, yeah, I think those are kind of most of the things I want to cover today. A longer episode than normal but i might have to do a little bit of editing so i was trying to find some info for my recap from last year so i might cut out some of that time but yeah this podcast is fun man i really i really wish i had more ideas of what i want to do when i got to this podcast it's sort of just me brainstorming and like talking about random creative stuff or my planning about that and yeah i kind of just want to get my creative juices flowing again so if you guys do like this podcast i know it's my viewership on this is hardly anything compared to my other stuff but uh if you guys got any topics you want to hear me talk about, I mean, maybe you guys might want to hear my opinions on any, I don't know, random stuff, anything. Content creating is my favorite thing to talk about, but <sighs> anything, anything. If you guys have suggestions, let me know and I'll try to touch on them. But uh, that's all for today. I will try to do another episode next week. It will be Christmas next week, so I probably won't do one. Uh, most likely I'll be doing... A New Year's episode. And that I'll probably sit down. Review my channel stats like I did last year. And kind of just see where we're at. And. You know try to set some goals for the next year. And have some more clear cut. You know numbers wise goals that I want to do. So uh, thank you guys for listening. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.